Penny, I'm Dr. Stewart. Hi, Dr. Stewart. And I'm going to do a new kind of adjustment on you that's an indirect sort of an adjustment. It's non-forceful. It's going to include adjustment of the cranial bones and also the pelvis and spine. Okay. But it doesn't make any noise and we can do the whole thing sitting down. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start by doing something called muscle testing. Mm -hmm. And with muscle testing, I'll push on your arm and have you push back. And your brain is going to tell me what your body wants and needs to have done. Gotcha. Okay? So if you hold an arm out straight ahead, with a straight elbow, I'll push toward the floor, and you just put the brakes on. Okay. Okay? So when I push like that and you push back, it's a good arm. Now I'm just going to touch a couple reflex points on your hands. There's one, and that one shows up. So that one tells me that I have to do some work back here on your mastoid bones. Mm -hmm. And all I have to do is spread here. And it's already let go. So if we go back to this point, looks good. We'll check a couple of others. Good. And so I'm just checking different points that correspond with different kinds of functions. We uh, have now gotten your cranium in good shape. Now I'm going to check the pelvis, and if I touch right here and you hold this arm up, it goes down very easily. Mm -hmm. What that tells me is that your pelvis has swung off to the side and it's torqued. So the bottom right corner of your pelvis and the upper left corner of your pelvis are torqued backwards, so you've got a counter rotation of the two sides of the pelvis. If I wanted to show you that directly, okay. If you hold this arm up and I push down like that, you're good. Now if I push forward on the sit bone, your arm goes down very easily. If I go to the other side and go to the upper part of the pelvis and I push down, it also goes down very easily. Now normally what we would do in a more conventional setting so we'd have you lie down on the table and either push hard toward the floor or we'd have you lie on the side and do a twist one way and a twist the other way. Mm -hmm. And they can work very well. But supposing you weren't able to tolerate that for one reason or another or just didn't like the idea of having that done, there's an easier way we could do that. I could just go to this reflex point on that elbow and this one on this one, and then the pelvis will have corrected itself. So if you hold this one up, we're good. If I touch here, solid. And then if we go back here to the right sit bone, now she's strong. And on the upper left, the left ilium, also strong.